What's up you guys, welcome to this week's Manga Sutra Manga Review, and in this week's video, we're going to be talking about a supernatural horror drama called Jinmen. Now the manga is about our main character, Jingu Masato, who moved away from home seven years ago and is returning to visit the zoo that he used to know and love. However, the zoo is not quite as he remembered it with a new director, new staff, and animals mysteriously turning up ill. Now when he goes to visit his old friend Hanio the elephant, he notices that Hanio is mysteriously ill. Now, the thing I like about Jinmen is the premise of it. In many ways, the um, whole premise or the whole concept of Jinmen is similar to Attack on Titans, Maho Shujo of the End, and um, I Am a Hero. And what I mean by that is, in a way, it's like Attack on Titan because we have these zoo animals that are mysteriously ill are infected and they have these humanoid faces that are those of actual living human beings and in Attack on Titan we have similar scenes in Attack on Titan in season one and in um season two where some of these titans resemble actual people that used to be human and we also have this element to it as well where the question is how did these animals get sick? Why do they have humanoid faces? Um, was this some type of supernatural cause? Was this some scientific experiment gone wrong? Um, like, what could possibly be the thing? And in many ways, it resembles Mao Shujo at the end because another question arises why are these infected animals killing people? And why are they killing them in such brutal and malicious ways? Because we see with. Um, attack on titans that they're not killing like they're not eating people just to eat them for nutritional means they don't need that no they're they're brutally killing people and eating them for whatever reason that was the mystery of season one like why are they doing what they do and then in Mao shujo of the end we have in the first few chapters where our main character is in a classroom and all of his classmates just get killed by this magical girl and then we find out later on in the manga that this was supposed to be a part of this long game to wipe out humanity or something like that. And so the question is, do these animals have some type of deep-seated hatred for humanity that they're tapping into? Or is this infectious disease that is affecting them, is this something that is bringing out and altering some type of behavioral pattern in them to make them more aggressive and more violent towards human beings um also in some ways it resembles um i am a hero is that we have these incredibly messed up moments and i am a hero there are some really gory moments and there are some really creepy moments and i am a hero and i love that in Gen Men as well because we get to see these um creepy 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 horrifically psychologically mind um, breaking humanoid animals and we get to see them like brutally tear apart these humans <laughs> in so many different ways and and under different circumstances then we also see um, the human aspect of it we see some people in denial about the situation and then we see like the other shock and horror and surprise in some of these instances that go on within this manga and I just love it um, the artwork, I think, could use some work as far as, like, the human characters. But as far as the animals, I think the artwork for them is spot on. Um, I definitely love how the artist has drawn their bodies and has managed to um, attach the humanoid faces to them in a way that it's not something that's seamless and, you know, calming. But it's weird. It's bizarre. It's horrific. It's unnatural. And in a way, it's it's unnerving. Like, different animals have human faces in this manga. And some of the ones I like so far is um, the kangaroos. I like the chimpanzees. I like the deers that had um, human faces. I just love the way they were also um, implemented in the um, manga. And it also uses a lot of, like, um, a lot of the facts about these animals and a lot of um, their own personal traits and abilities and they're utilized within the manga as we see in um, a couple of scenes they um, they utilize the kangaroo's ability to jump 
are the the behavior of deer and and things like um chimpanzees and how they behave in groups socially speaking and that is implemented in the manga i just love to see that happen but also i just love the premise of these um these infectious violent animals with humanoid faces just going wild and we don't even know why and i also love how the main character he um he's trying to connect to these animals he's trying to find out what their motives are and because he was a frequent visitor of the zoo when he was a kid a lot of these zoo animals know him like Hanio we don't know if Hanio is violent towards Masato we don't know if Hanio wants to kill Masato we don't know um, if many of these zoo animals that are infected now genuinely want to kill Masato we see Masato trying to bridge some type of bond between some of these zoo animals that he can recall he can remember and that used to know him and he had a connection with them and we see some spark there but as far as the um, few chapters that are out now we don't see it fully explored and we don't see it um, fully explored as to why these animals are the way they are right now and I really want to see that happen later on in the manga so I would say artwork wise the animals are creepy, psychologically horrific, and spot on. I would say the characters could use some work, but, you know, it's it's nothing I would really complain about. Because I've been looking at different types of manga, and I believe, like, after you get past a certain amount of chapters in a manga, the artwork just, just kind of um, grows on you, and you just can't really complain about it anymore. So I'm not mad about it. Um... I would recommend it. I would recommend it. If you love I Am A Hero, if you love um, Mao Shujo at the end, or if you love any type of manga that deals with, like, um, any type of horror manga or psychological manga that deals, like, with um, infected or zombies and, like, um, chaos and, like, outbreaks and stuff like that, then this is the manga for you. And um, another manga I have had my eyes on that I want to make a video on later on is a manga that is um, a horror manga that deals with mascots coming to life and it was so creepy it was so creepy in the first few chapters when one of the mascots came to life it was just screaming and teeth was coming out a big it was it was it was monstrous I love it but I'm gonna make a video on that later on this is VM like comment share subscribe um, read the manga tell me what you think about it I really think I really congratulate the artist. I congratulate the author for making such a good horror manga and actually really implementing this type of concept. Because you know some mangas have horrible concepts, but um, good execution. And then you have some mangas that have um, great concepts, but are really awful at executing it. And I think that Jinmin manages to balance both of these perfectly well. Bye.